The Persian Gulf is facing its biggest diplomatic rift in decades. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, and others have cut off all ties with Qatar, accusing it of supporting extremists. Here are three things to know. Number one, there is history here. During the Arab Spring, this tiny monarchy with the highest per capita income in the world was seen as sympathetic to the Islamic populist movements roiling its neighbors. Qatar has long welcomed senior figures from Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood and shown a tolerance for Saudi Arabia's arch rival, Iran. I think what we're uh, witnessing is a, a growing list of some irritants in the region that have been there for some time. And obviously they have now bubbled up to a level that countries decided they needed to take action. Then and now, Qatar, an important U.S. military ally in the region, has strongly denied it funds extremist groups. But an unconvinced coalition of Arab states has cut off all land, air and sea traffic with Qatar, ejecting its diplomats and ordering Qatari citizens to leave the Gulf states within 14 days. Number two. The Trump administration is sending mixed messages. The president's tweets suggesting the rift is a positive result of his recent Middle East trip. So good to see the Saudi Arabia visit with the king and 50 countries already paying off. They said they would take a hard line on funding extremism and all reference was pointing to Qatar. Perhaps this will be the beginning of the end to the horror of terrorism. While Earlier, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson had offered U.S. help to resolve the rift. We certainly would encourage the parties to sit down together and address these differences. Uh, and we, if there's any role that we can play in terms of helping them address those. Number three. The repercussions are being felt already. Major national airlines like Emirates and Qatar Airways are canceling flights. In Qatar's capital, Doha, people are scrambling to buy groceries and other necessities before shelves empty. Regional experts say the oil-rich but mostly desert country imports as much as 99% of its food. Qatar is home to the largest U.S. airbase in the Mideast, housing Central Command and 10,000 U.S. troops. Qatar invested over a billion dollars into this strategically important base. U.S. military officials say there will be no change to operations there. Qatar's plans to host the 2022 World Cup are now in question. The multi-billion dollar preparations involve building nine stadiums and huge infrastructure. In Saudi Arabia, the offices and operations of Al Jazeera, the Qatar-funded news and media channel, were shut down by the government. Kuwait's ruling emir has traveled to Saudi Arabia in an effort to mediate an end to the standoff, but Qatar's ruling emir, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al Thani, is reportedly taking a defiant stance.